So, what's up guys, here I am with another video, and this one is about my build, and there you go, I got a 98 3 lever scorer, small forward 6.5, you guys know this build from 2K20, it's a little different from 2K20's build, because I took some finishing off, and I put some more defense on it, simply because I'm going to play more 2's this year, and this one is pretty fly, as you can see at 98 overall, we are very, very, very balanced, we got first the physical 89 speed, 88 acceleration, strength at 51, vertical at 90, and stamina at 99. Keep in mind that all is with Jim Rat. And also you see the attributes, the main ones here at 98 overall are 86 three-point shot and 88 mid-range, which is very high for a three level. We also have great finishing at 91 driving layups and 79 driving dunks, so it gives me a lot of opportunities to blow past people and finish it at the rim easily passing and ball handling as you can see is above 80 which is very nice and decent defense i might add at 77 per meter defense and also 76 lateral quickness and how did we get there now obviously a lot of grinding um because this build is very good after 95 overall very similar to what happened in 2k20 this build was basically not creatable on 21, but now on 22 it's possible again. Without any further ado, we're going to go straight to how I made this build. My main build. Oh, the most important thing on the page where we are on is the small forward. Everything else obviously you can do whatever you like. Uh, you can even choose left hand if you want to, but small forward is the key. We take small forward. Skill pie chart we have to choose is the second one which is shooting and finishing that one is very important because we want to have hall of fame finishing badges uh, i also want to show you then why we need them and we also need hall of fame shooting badges of course and yeah this pie chart where we get the physicals done um, obviously there are many options you can do i always take ones that are the most balanced because we do want to have decent vertical um, and also acceleration and also speed strength my position is not that important although it can have a factor but vertical we need obviously for dunking but also this year for defense chase down blocks are insane even with low blocking i got some crazy chase down blocks with the chase down defensive badge it's nuts i don't know so if it's not getting patched it's going to help a lot with the vertical speed and acceleration i already show you how it goes further on later on uh with the build uh, right now at 75 and 73 that's gonna be the start so as far as the attributes go um, these are important because this year there is a pretty good balance so far in the game where you can uh, see that your attributes and also the badges uh, simultaneously affect how your player actually contributes on the court and how he behaves so you have to have a good balance finishing pretty simple um, you max out close shot, driving layup, and driving dunk. The rest you don't touch. You get 11 finishing badges. I'll tell you also later on why that's pretty important. Shooting, you max out pretty much everything outside of post fade. Simply because I don't need more than 20 uh, shooting badges. But I do need way more uh, defensive badges. that yeah, As many as I can get. So that's how I left it. As far as playmaking goes, 10 is more than enough for what I want to do. As far as slashing goes and shooting goes, I'll also show you the badges, then you'll see what I mean. Decent dribbling, decent passing, as you saw, maxed out because of both above 80. And with the 10 playmaking badges, I'll be just fine. Defense, as you see, I put a lot of defensive points attributes on it and um, somehow got the 5 defensive badges. It's not amazing, but for this game, I can tell you, you can play way better one-on-one -on -one defense than you were able to do on 21. And 5 defensive badges will help you a lot. To improve your defense in general and you can stand in front of a lot of guards and I mean I have no issue guarding one-on-one -on -one. go to the body shape this year I chose solid simply because it looks fine I mean you can go with defined you can go with build you can go with slight a lot of options I would say Defined just looks huge. Solid looks fine to me. I don't know. I chose solid this year. I guess you could go with anything you want to. Uh, as far as I know, it doesn't really affect anything. It just looks so. Choose whatever you like. Height is important. I always go with 6'5 because it gives me a boost on speed, acceleration, vertical, 
pass accuracy and ball handling, which is probably the most important because you want this build to be kind of a demigod as far as ball handling goes. You're not going to see a lot of small forwards who will be able to slash and dribble at the same time and shoot at the same time and have def decent speed. Um, of course, you'd sacrifice a little bit defense when it comes to that, but not significant. Even when you look at Pyramida, Lateral, and Steel, it goes up a little. So as far as that goes, it's a plus. Let's go with 6.5. The LBS, again, it gives me such a boost on speed again where it goes above 80 easily. Um, so I choose 175 because I sacrifice strength uh, if it's for speed every time on a guard. Wingspan. Um, we don't want to go too high uh, or too low. 78.8 is pretty fine. I do want to be able to put up a hand and still be contesting from everywhere. The dunks go down. The reason why I chose 78 point eight is I have still good wingspan I can still shoot fine and yeah the driving dunk goes down but I checked out like the contact dunks and stuff I'll only get them at 84 so I'm not going to be able to get contact dunks the elite contact dunks or whatever anyways even if I would have 78 so I stuck with this good, decent wingspan good shooting and still very good dribbling as you can see you want to choose sh slasher if you're a, a consistent shooter anyways you don't want to take spot up simply because if you're a very good shooter which i might add i am i do not need that boost but the slashing is sometimes wonky and i feel like defensive players especially guards will defend you a lot like more hesitant when you get the slasher takeover there you go it says three level scorer build let's go and check out the build so what i want to do is also i want to show you guys some of my bad setups how I use it, um, as always, slithery finish is extremely, extremely good. Like it, it helps you with layups and dunks, uh, with all of them. Like it, it's just great on Hall of Fame. How I play is strippable gold. I do like it. Just, it's just weird. Like I got stripped so often going to the cup. I don't know. I took it on gold. Um, limitless takeoff helps, helps extremely. Like the the way you will be able to take off from various spots on the court. And actually go for a dunk or for a layup is extremely valuable if your defender has to second guess. Now, where is he going to start off taking a shot? Maybe you can just act like you would dunk and go back and then shoot. Like, it's so many options. So many options with limitless takeoff. Um, but I like it a lot. Shooting, this is how I play. Try a lot of things this year so far. And this is how I go. Blinders is extremely OP. A lot of p people play it on Hall of Fame, which... Um, I can do too. Like it's it's extremely strong. I, I like it a lot. Um, catch and shoot on bronze helps me when I dex and and shoot. Um, it's a pretty good badge. If you're a spot up shooter, you should have it higher. But it's enough for me on bronze. Uh, clutch shooter is extremely important. Fourth quarter in rec. Uh, once a team hits 14 in park or any other game, uh, it activates. It's a, it's a nice little boost. Difficult shots are for mid range boost. Um, it's just amazing. I love this one. Um, I've played with it around now. It's one of the best badges uh, to have if you're trying to go for trick shots from time to time. Uh, this is the one to go. Hot Zone Hunter, definitely um, the best shooting badge you can have. I extremely love it. Um, yeah, there's not much to say. It, it's OP. It's very good. Sniper is the new badge to go with. Probably the new favorite badge of shooters. Um, what it does is it just helps you to get easier greens. It's, it's very good. Stop and pop. Also extremely good if you're a dribbler. If you take shots on, on the move, um, very good. Volume shoot, I have it on bronze. It helps. It pops up after every shot. I like it. Playmaking, I'm not going to dribble with this build too much, but I am going to be ball handling a lot. So hands for days helps. Bailout, uh, you have to have it if you pass it out of shots sometimes. Extremely important for twos players. Uh, stop and go, I mean, still a very good badge. Unpluckable, I have it on gold. Never trust this badge, but I feel like it's a necessity. Defensive badge is this is how I play basically when I play twos. Uh, clamps on silver. I don't think you have to have it higher. Honestly, I don't think it's valuable like that. Intimidator, I have it on bronze. And the two badges I need probably the most in twos is simply because you have to switch on big sometimes. Rim protector helps me with that. And the chase down artist. Oh my god. This badge on bronze already is nuts. And if you have the right vertical for that, it's, it's even boosting more. So like I said, put chase down on. If you can put it even higher, that much better. 
Last but not least, I'm gonna go through my animations. Um, as far as my jump shot goes, I have a jump shot video. I don't need to go show you guys my jump shot. Go check out my jump shot video. Um, I always go with the LeBron James layups. I'm not sure if that's the best one to go with yet, but this is how I play it. Free throws, always Jordan. Dribble pull-ups, always Curry. And the post face, always Kobe. That's pretty simple. Dunks, I can't equip too many of them. I have them. Um, pretty simple every time. Also, the Mono Ginobili drop-off, it's, it's very simple. He goes quick and dunks it off fast. Drilling style. Um, I got Kobe, Zach Levine for size-ups, signature combos for uh, Baron Davis, and the rest you can see. I'm going to show you. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and every like and every comment and every share helps me out. Appreciate you guys so much. I hope to see you soon on my streams. Love you all. See you all on the next one. Bye-bye.